Today we are going to share different reports about Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra OLED display, according to CNET. New displays will consume 16% less power, the electronics giant says. Samsung on Monday unveiled a new low-power OLED smartphone display that will make its debut on the new Galaxy S21 Ultra. The electronics giant says the new display tech reduces power consumption by 16% by speeding up electron flows in the display's organic layers. Display panels are a major power hog in smartphones. OLED displays contain pixels made of organic materials that glow when electricity touches them. By accelerating the electrons flow across the display's layers, the panels can create brighter light while consuming less power and in turn increasing battery life, Samsung said. The second report according to The Verge, Samsung's latest flagship, the Galaxy S21 Ultra, is its first phone to feature Samsung Display's new power-efficient OLED panels. In a press release, Samsung says the new display consumes 16% less power thanks to a just-developed organic material that means electrons flow faster and more easily across the display's organic layer. In other words, Samsung explains, the technology means its OLED panels can create brighter light while consuming less power, which improves the battery lifetime. A smartphone's display is typically one of its most power-hungry components, so efficiency gains here can have a big impact on the overall battery life of the device. In our review, we remark that the S21 Ultra has excellent battery life that lasts beyond a full day. Samsung confirmed to The Verge that the S21 Ultra uses an LTPO display, but it's not the first of Samsung's phones to do so. Last year, the ELEC reported that Samsung's Galaxy Note 20 Ultra also used LTPO display panels, which Samsung brands as hot. However, this week's announcement says the S21 Ultra is the first to use the more efficient panels, suggesting Samsung Display has further refined the technology compared to the Note 20 Ultra. Prior to appearing in smartphones, LTPO displays have been used in smart watches. The ELEC notes that the Apple Watch Series 4 featured an LTPO display produced by LG while Samsung's Galaxy Watch Active 2 used an LTPO display produced by Samsung Display. If reports are accurate, Apple's next flagship iPhones could soon benefit from Samsung Display's power-efficient panel technology. Earlier this year, the ELEC reported that the South Korean company is in line to supply LTPO panels for Apple's 2021 iPhones. According to the report, Apple will use 120Hz LTPO OLED displays in two of its four iPhones in the second half of the year while the other two will have more traditional OLED panels. Thanks for the watch. For more informative videos subscribe to my channel.